Well, that did not work out at all. Uh, we got a very upset snake right now, <laughs> as you can see. So, you know, when you work with exotic animals, they're not always gonna do what you want them to do. So, this girl is all kinds of upset right now. And this is, you know what, this is actually a good video because basically, I can tell you guys why I usually feed snakes in the cage. Because when you take a snake out uh, of their habitat and you try to feed them in another bin, whatever, uh, you could stress the snake out a bit. And you could see now she's not going to eat today. That's for sure. So, rather than continue on uh, pissing her off, we'll look at some of the other animals eat, such as this sun glow carpet python male. This guy is an absolute savage. You can see the glass of his tank is actually very dirty. I will open up his cage right now. Uh, unfortunately, this guy's colors never come out good on camera. He just ends up looking really patternless. But basically what the Sun Glow Carpet Python is, is an albino caramel. Caramel, which is the co-dominant phase and albino is the recessive. So let me grab him a rat. I'll see if I could get close to him without him taking a bite out of me. Let's approach his rat here. He's gonna get hit hard and fast. Where is he? Well. Uh, <laughs> got him by the tail. So it's gonna basically take this dude like forever to eat this uh, this rat, but at least you get a better idea of his colors right now. So a lot of people actually find regular albinos to be nicer looking than the uh, the sun glow, the caramel albinos, because basically a lot of the contrast gets washed out. It's a basic, basically it's an orange and yellow snake, and the white um, kind of is more of a, a faded orangey color on these guys. So. You guys could really, and like he shed recently, so this is like usually as good as he's going to look. But from far away, he just looks completely yellow, basically. All right, we'll feed more carpet pythons. My God, that poor rat. He looks like he's in absolute agony. He don't feel a thing, though, because he's frozen. Or he was frozen. Now he is thawed. Let's feed our, Jesus Christ, our jaguar. Our uh, jungle jag female here. You gotta love those uh, those blue tongues of carpet pythons. One of the few things I don't like about the sun glow is that because he is an albino, he has a pink tongue instead of a blue tongue. So let's see if I could do a better job at getting the right end into her mouth here. There you go. Okay, so a lot of people... Um, they wonder why we feed frozen thawed, and it's just basically because, you know, it's easier to sell snakes after. Some people don't want to feed live. Also, um, there's zero risk, and there it is. The zebra is in shed right now, so we ain't going to feed her. Uh, but yeah, there's zero percent risk uh, that the snake will be harmed by a dead rodent, obviously. So, you know, when you have snakes in your collection, that costs... Uh, a couple hundred dollars up to, you know, a couple grand. You don't want to end up uh, having a rat kill the animal. And yes, people say, you know, so you got to supervise, but you know, a rat's fast. If it's going to bite your snake or injure your snake, it, it's going to do it before you probably have a chance to grab it. And you're also putting yourself at risk because let's say you try to intervene. The snake could bite you. The rat could bite you. The rat could jump out of the cage. It's really just a disaster. Um, so... You know, again, this rarely happens. Typically, you're going to feed alive and the snake is going to grab it instantly. And uh, that's that. But there have been instances that I've heard of where people have snakes that end up being injured. Uh, some even fatally wounded by rodents. So no need to take the risk because feeding frozen is just so easy. Plus, if you guys uh, only have a couple animals, um, you know, 
feeding frozen is really convenient because you could buy a crap load of frozen rodents, stick them in your freezer, and you're good basically for a couple months. So you don't have to go out every week and buy a live rodent. And then let's say you do buy a live rodent and your snake for whatever reason doesn't want to eat like the hog nose did previously, you're stuck with that rodent. So to me, feeding frozen is just way too easy. Why feed live? There's no point. Plus, what am I going to do? I'm going to narrate over a snake killing, uh, killing another animal. Come on, guys. All right. Here we go. Uh, our albino hognose female. This is just a regular albino. No anaconda in it. Very nice looking. Uh, this is a high red. So let's see if she's willing to take. This girl always eats very well. So, And she missed. These hognoses, they have these little tiny mouths. So sometimes it's hard for them to actually grab onto their preys. But... What a gorgeous animal, as you can see here. Uh, I've said this in many videos before, but I'm just a huge fan of contrast. And you can see this animal, like the red really pops out from her background color. Cool looking little snake there. And uh, we'll show one more and then I guess it'll be, that'll be it for the day, guys. Or actually, we'll show, we'll show two more. If we can. So, another hog nose here. This is just a regular anaconda. And let me search through the frozen rodent soup here. Let's see if I can find the other adult mouse. Is that it? Mm. This one was probably meant for her because she's smaller, but anyways. Whoa. Oh boy. Fails left and right today, gen uh, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see. There you go. I probably missed that completely. Ay. I probably shouldn't even post this, but I will anyways. Screw it. So, there you go. This is a nice uh, Zoomed cage with a sliding top. Uh, it does get stuck sometimes, but other than that, uh, I like it because it has this nice little pin here that goes in the hole like that so that the animal can't really escape. So we got our, ho our hog noses rolling. Let's go down here. This is our last female baby rhino rat snake. You can see she's already green, very nice looking color. Uh, I find our rhino rat snakes are some of the best looking out there. There are uh, rhino rat snakes that will get a little bit more of a, a brighter green color, but I really like the, uh, the turquoise animals that we, that we have and that we produce. This girl won't last down, don't worry. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Well, that's the video, guys. Take care. Subscribe. I'll have more coming. And uh, man, hopefully the next one won't be a train wreck like this one. See ya.